And now it's time for the latest exciting episode of Doz's Television Workshop. Hello, and welcome back to Dozzy's Television Workshop, where today we're having a look at this bizarre contraption that I have made. Um, so, yeah, what's going on here? Well, previously, um, I was running a couple of experiments from my old employer, uh, and now he's my old employer. I've obviously lost access to that workshop and antenna. There was a wideband disc going on the roof. Uh, which I used to run a couple of little projects when it wasn't in use commercially. So um, I've had to develop this to bring those projects home uh, so we can use them here. So uh, what's going on? Well, at the top here, we've got a uh, UHF ground plane antenna. All the details on how to build this uh, on my website at andydoz.blogspot.com. Uh, so there it is, a little UHF uh, ground plane antenna. This is a, a 3D printed part which just locks it into place. It's based on a, uh, an SMA bulkhead connector in there. Uh, that connects down to this piece of coax. It runs down the sort of inside of the conduit. It comes out of a slot uh, and then it goes, we've got a few coils here now. You may think that's some sort of choke ballon. Uh, it's not. It's just to soak up the excess coax really. Um, that then comes into here and feeds this, which is an AliExpress or eBay LNA low noise amplifier, um, which just gives our signal a kick because we're going to chuck it into this also AliExpress uh, passive splitter there. It's got four outputs, three of which we are using. So one feeds this uh, LilyGo board. That's a sort of PAX counter kind of board um, with a LoRa transceiver on it. It's not transmitting in this instance, it's just receiving. And this is running something called Tiny GS. Tiny GS is Tiny Ground Station. So, uh, yeah, that is receiving LoRa signals from CubeSats in space. Um, so that's project one. It's connected via Wi-Fi to the house network. Um, and every time you get a packet, if it decodes OK, it sends it off to the server. Uh, go and have a look at that at tinygs.com. Uh, this unit around here, same board again, it's another PAX counter. This is running um, an APRS iGate. So uh, this is APRS over LoRa. Now, APRS is Automatic Packet Reporting System. It's primarily a ham radio system, and it's used for transmitting weather information from ground stations, um, it's used for transmitting tracking information from GPS enabled devices such as the uh, T-Beam board um, and also I've got uh, an APRS tracking uh, transmitter in my car uh, based on one of these and a power amplifier and uh, get quite a good range out of that. Um, so yeah you can see more details of that on the, on the website going back a little while. So. Um, yeah, those are the two UHF items. Uh, the APRS sends the decoded packets uh, via APRS IS, which I think is Internet Service. Um, so there's a server. Uh, I'm connected to the European server via Wi-Fi. Um, and you can look at that information at APRS.FI. Now, it's not a secure system, APRS. So uh, if you find me, you'll know exactly where I am if the position's updated recently. Uh, so, uh, you know, I've got nothing to hide, but uh, it's just something to be aware of. It is uh, a ham radio. Only thing you need a call sign to operate that. Uh, certainly a transmitter, maybe not a receiver. But uh, there we go. Right. Uh, what else have we got? Ah, yes. This fourth third output, not fourth. The fourth one is not connected at the moment. This third one uh, feeds this SDR module plugged into a Raspberry Pi. And that's also running an APRS system called uh, Ionosphere. Um, and uh, that's another eye gate. So that's sending our APRS information to the European server. And I know what you're saying. Why have you got two? I've got two because that's LoRa. And this one is actually tuned to 144.8 megahertz, which is uh, the APRS packet frequency in the UK. 
and that is a conventional AX25 uh, APRS protocol. And so we get packets of information uh, and then this again connected to the internet and we'll update APRS.fi amongst others. So um, that's another one. But we've got two. Why have we got two? Like I say, this one is VHF. Um, I don't know what the response from a UHF antenna is going to be like at 144 mega. It's pretty grim, I'd imagine, but we might get something and it'll make an interesting experiment. The whole lot is powered here by this uh, redundant trust USB hub, which is uh, painfully slow, uh, not really used anymore. So I thought I'd repurpose it as just, <coughs> excuse me, just a bit of uh, power distribution. There's a choke down there and it's fed from this little buck converter board there. Um, this is going to run off to a uh, brick type power supply. And the idea is it's not weatherproof or anything. So I'm going to pop it in uh, the loft. Uh, if you're across the pond and you're watching this, a loft is the attic. So yeah, we're just going to mount that up in the attic. Um, just to give you an idea of how it was performing last night, I actually just left it running here. Uh, unfortunately, the VHF wasn't running, but uh, both the UHF items were, and I had a T-beam, just the 100 milliwatts, in my pocket as I went for a walk, and it tracked me beautifully, just from it literally being sort of stood, stood here in the workshop. And um, also, we managed to pick up uh, a number of um, satellites on the tiny GS receiver. So it does work. Um, it'll be interesting to see how the VHF behaves. Uh, but yeah, there it is. Right, let's uh, go jousting and put it in the attic. You don't know how long it's taken to get this shot. Right, welcome to the attic. It's full of stuff, boxes and projects that are yet to come. Uh, projects that have been and gone. Um, yeah, I might remember the rotary converters there, look, and that amplifier they drove. Anyway, the idea is I want to put the antenna over there. Uh, that's quite handy because we've got some mains here um, and yeah so that can uh, feed via uh, the 12 volts can feed over there to the antenna it's just getting there I haven't got much in the way of light over there I'll go and get a lamp Sort of inspection lamp. God, it's a lot of cobwebs and stuff up here. It's horrible. Right. Okay. Up with the antenna. I hope I haven't made it too tall. I've got one of those strange houses where we've got a very short pitch attic. I might be in trouble here. Do you know what? I couldn't have timed that better if I tried, could I? That is exactly the right size. Right. There comes the fun bit and get over there without sticking my foot through the ceiling. Right. Now if you spot anything in the in this thing, there's an SX64 there, that's coming down soon, there's a bread bin 64 you can just see in the corner of the picture, they're all going to get looked at soon, we've got to do some more mending of the micros, so I've got to get over there, there's a platform there, you see that sort of water tank between these cardboard boxes here, um, you can't really see, let's angle the camera up a bit, there you go, so 
Uh, this duct runs the ventilators for the bathrooms. Um, there's a tank in there, you can sort of see it, a cylindrical thing. It's empty, it's long since redundant. It could do with being taken out, to be honest, but it won't fit through the hatch. Um, it was always my intention to come up here one afternoon and, and cut it up, uh, which is what I'll do. And you also see there's a dehumidifier behind there, um, because when we bought this house, um, we had a terrible uh, uh, condensation problem. And it was one of the first project, projects, projects I ever published on the website. Um, yeah, so, right, let's make our way that way. That steel pipe there, it's not, I don't think it's steel, it's aluminium, isn't it? A little bit careful not to grab hold of that because that is the exhaust for uh, the gas central heating system. So, uh, yeah, don't grab hold of that. Right. Um, I wonder if we can mount this somewhere. A little later. One eternity later. Be right back, gonna go and make the lead. I'm sure there's a joke like this. Um, right, I've attached my power supply to my lead. It's getting late, so I've been lazy, I used to cut the way goes. But uh, they'll be absolutely fine. There's some mains there, let's plug the, plug the little Molex style connector in there first. Oh, I think I moved the camera as well. You probably haven't got most of that, have you? Anyway, that's it fitted. And power is connected, if not actually powered up yet. Let me retrieve my light. Uh, let me just come down here a bit. Oh. Right, I'm powering on. We should see things light up. Yes! Oh, right, you can see that just sort of there. That's it, it's all lit up. Now the next thing is does the Wi-Fi get up here? So it's back downstairs to the workshop to log on to APRS.fi and TinyGS and see if we can SSH in. Um, oh no, APRS.fi will tell us as well if the VHF ground station is logged in. Let's go and have a look. Oh, I need a cup of tea. So, I've got a bit of a lovely brew. Mmm, blimey, that's hot. But yes, the other bit of good news is, uh, this is my tiny GS webpage. Uh, my station is called G7GQA underscore 433. Anybody can go there and have a look at that. So if you want to see um, what that ground station is performing like, you can do. Uh, G7GQA, by the way, is my ham radio call sign. So uh, there it is. Status is the important bit, which says online. So I'm very happy with that. Moving across to the APRS window, um, I can see there both G7GQA-1 and G7GQA-10 eye gates are up and running, which means all the Wi-Fi managed to get up there, everything's logged on and it's all working. So I'm passing that off as a success. Um, if you're really interested, G7GQA-1 is the LoRa gateway and uh, the dash 10 is the VHF one. I don't think the VHF one's gonna perform very well, but we'll have a look. Anyway, all that it remains to be said is thank you very much for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, do all that rubbish, ring the bell. I don't know. Uh, that would be great. And I'll see you really soon here on Dozzy's Television Workshop. Cheers now. Bye.
Oh no, I never pressed record. Why two? Well, like I say, uh, we've been playing. Let's do this again. It's cobblers. I'm losing the thread. R O A. L O R A. L O R A was correct. Pax counter Lily Go boards are up to. So those. Like, come. I need to write a script for this. Right, start again. Madeline. Madeline will edit that bit out.